Good morning. Welcome to Live for Five with Pastor Ben. I'm glad you're tuning in today. Uh, I have two big announcements for you. The first one is that we are we're collecting stuffing, boxes of stuffing for the Durango Food Bank Thanksgiving food drive. Um, we are trying to get 400 boxes or bags of stuffing and we are 275 short now we have till the 10th um i'm asking for an extension if we can get an extra sunday in there so we'll see but we're trying to reach a goal of 275 which i know is kind of lofty but you know we're going to try to do it uh this helps families that are in need that maybe can't put together um a, a big thanksgiving meal so uh, it's exciting that we get to be a part of something like that in our community. The other announcement that I have for you is that uh, I'm entertaining switching our live products, so Live for Five and Worship, to YouTube. I found a way for us to be live on YouTube, and I think it might be beneficial for us because there are a number of people that don't have Facebook and don't want Facebook. And is that might be good, but a lot more people have access to YouTube. So I'd like to know your thoughts. I already put kind of a poll and a post on um, on Facebook here, but I also posted a live video from YouTube um, asking the same question. So I know it'd be a transition. We might have some hiccups early on, but I'm looking at possibly switching from Facebook to YouTube for live for five and for worship live experiences. But let's make our beginning this morning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it from the rising of the sun to its setting. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Amen. Pull out that YouVersion Bible app or Bible.com and our verse of the day takes us to Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. Now, this is quite interesting here. Uh, the author here is speaking to their son, giving these wide words of counsel, speaking of the ways that the son should guard his heart. And now this is this is unusual phrasing here in this verse, but it accents the diligence with which the son should do these things, that the son needs to guard his heart. But this refers to his spiritual, emotional, and intellectual life, as well as his ability ability to critically evaluate situations and use his will. But the reason for this mandate is that the source of life comes from it, which might be misunderstood in, in a, in a, for a modern reader that this is like follow your heart or trust your heart. No, that's not what this is about at all. This is an allusion to the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Now, I, I've had these conversations with Jews a number of times where they claim we're uh, polytheists, where we worship a number of different gods. But this isn't true because the Holy Spirit is all over in the Old Testament. Just go to Psalm 51.10. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast not your Holy Spirit from me. So the Holy Spirit's all over in the Old Testament. This verse here about inside your heart comes this spring of life. This is an allusion to the Holy Spirit dwelling there through the word of God and through baptism, dwelling in the heart of each believer and flows forth with life-giving power. The power of the Holy Spirit is what will enable the son in, in this proverb to follow his father's advice. So he needs to guard his heart, guard it, protect it from those emotional and intellectual assaults on the heart. 
so that we do not grieve or abandon the spirit, which is the source of life. Now, the New Testament affirms this, that the spirit gives life. You see this in John 6, 2 Corinthians 3, Romans 8, 1 Corinthians 15. And this is drawing on this biblical language then that the Nicene Creed confesses that the Holy Spirit is what? The Lord and giver of life. One of the things that we do in the worship space is we practice this vigilance and keeping and guarding of our hearts. Protecting against these uh, spiritual, emotional, and intellectual threats to that life. And so at the, in, in worship, we're teaching the children to do this, to follow this counsel from Proverbs 4.23, but we're also learning to live it ourselves. And we need to be constantly reminded of this. So may you uh, be guarded and protected in your heart in this way. Let us pray. Lord, forgive us our sins and help us each day to walk in the bright light of this new life that you've given to us in baptism. Help us correctly and appropriately to teach others of your will and your love. We pray this in your son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, blessings to you in Christ. Remember, we're still collecting that uh, the stuffing for the food bank and... Uh, also, that question I have for you about should we move our live for five and live worship to YouTube? Hmm. Um, I'd like to know your thoughts. Blessings to you in Christ. We'll see you soon.